this is Abby from Pals, and today I'm going to be catifying my room. This video has been inspired by the video, How to Deal With and Enjoy Quarantine with Your Cats During COVID-19 by Jackson Galaxy. So first I'm going to do a bit of an inventory of my room and see what I'd like to change and what kind of things I think I could do with it. And so here we have one of my cat's favorite scratching posts and another one of my cat's favorite static toy. So I don't think I need to change much about this section. Maybe I'll add some things to this ladder here. See, I already started a little bit a while ago before I decided to make a video about it. So that's why there is some weird stuff going on and you'll see that more later. I have a nice blank space up here that I think it could possibly connect to that space. See, this is one of the things that I've already set up. It is two, cat two uh, fish toys, some more blank space, a kind of messy office area. One of the biggest problems that I've had in my room when it comes to cats is one of my cats really likes to grab and play with tiny things. And one of my favorite hobbies is creating miniatures. The only miniature I can really have out right now because I haven't seen her try to grab these little blocky shapes. But um yeah, we've had some past with <laughs> we've had some past with this. So as you can see, I really need to find an area or a way to display these miniatures while protecting them from my cats. I'm just going to start out with some ideas that I already have and then take it from there for now. So this is a little basket that they could use as a bed and I've chosen this blanket this very fuzzy blanket it used to be part of a pillow as a scent soaker which is something from the Jackson Galaxy video that means something that the cat can just rub their scent all in and have as their own and just it's a very comforting thing for them That might actually work. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> What I'm trying to do here is make it so that the cats can get across the room and up, above me, and anywhere they want basically just to make them feel like they're more in control of the space. So I've just added another scent soaker to the top of my dresser. Luca here loves playing with these little Nerf balls. And so I put a bunch in here along with some of her other toys. And I'm going to hide them. Right there. I found 
found these two adorable tassels in my craft box, and I think that this kitty is going to love them. What did I tell you? That I've noticed about my cat Luca is that she loves to attack this little string. I don't remember how it got on my bed and I don't know why she likes it so much but I'm going to add to her little string party. I think that'll be good enough. So I don't think I have enough cat toys hanging from my ceiling, so I'm gonna make some. Hi there. Are you ready? Are you ready to play? Huh? Do you like the bell bag? She's checking it out. Since I'm getting the impression that bells are popular around here, I'm going to add some to some toys that don't get used very much. She was watching a second ago. I should just leave the tripod out because she loves it for some reason. Now I'm going to make some cat toys for the other side of my dresser area. Oh, oh. Hey. Well, this is going to have to be enough for today. I really only got this area done, but I really like what I've done with it. So far, two of my cats have went across the walkway. Luca has played with these little toys. And she's sitting on a scent soaker. And she never sits up here. So I think we made a little progress today, don't you, Luca?